Hello, hello, everybody. Happy spooky month. I've been wanting to reprise my skinning tutorial for a long time now because I made that several months ago and I've learned a lot since then. So, so here's a more detailed explanation of the skinning process, um, things to look out for, and exactly what you need to do to make a successful skin. If you haven't already seen the first video, please check it out. I explain what skinning is and the basic process. So check that out first and then come back here. And we will be using the lovely Lyra or X Space Bunnies model. In the description, I'll have a link to her channel. So please go check her out. She's amazing. All right, so let's just get into it. So before you even start skinning, there's a couple things that you need to do. First of all, make sure that there's no other physics that you wanna set up for the parts that you wanna skin. For example, for these, we'll be skinning these two twin tails, and I have already set up the um, R twin tail, you can see right, right above my head, I have already set up the left and the right twin tail physics parameter to move with the Y. The second thing you have to do before you start skinning is click on the parts, so the left and the right, go over to the head XY and add the parts to the head XY. And we need to do this because otherwise the parts will um, move independently of the head and it will just look disconnected and we don't want that to happen. So once everything, so we have our, we have our, um, the Y parameter physics set up and we have the parts attached to the head. We select the part and we create rotation deformers. Now, another thing that I, did last time that I'm not going to do this time is I made a bunch of small deformers like this and that's still fine you can still do that if you want but you'll have less control over the way the hair moves if you do it that way so what I'm gonna do this time is create a few larger deformers and you really want to think about where you want the hair to curve so the way you think of it is each of these rotation deformers, they're gonna affect the way the hair rotates, of course. So depending on where you put them, it's gonna rotate different parts of the hair. Okay, so now, now that we can actually see the hair, I'm going to put one right here, right here, right here, right here, and right here. And you could see all of the parts right above my head. You could see all the rotation deformers right here. So now what we want to do is we want to select each rotation deformer as well as the part and then go to edit. No, go to modeling, skinning, skinning. And this is just telling you that the parameters are automatically generated to the bottom of the palette. So that means they'll be at the very bottom of this list right here on the left. So you click OK. Here, let me move myself really fast. So what that does is it creates copies of the twin tails and glues them all together for you so you don't have to worry about glue or anything like that. And it has different copies of each part that will move independently with each deformer. So you can even like move them yourself if you wanted to. And each one moves the hair in different spots. If you're unhappy with how these look, or sometimes you'll get an error and it will say that the mesh is broken and when you move the parts, when you move the, the deformers, the hair breaks. If that happens, uh, you can just hit Control Z a bunch of time, delete all of the rotation deformers and start over and try to put the rotation deformers in different areas until it works. I'm sure there's like a proper rhyme or reason. I don't know exactly how to ensure that it works properly so just do it until you don't get that error and until it doesn't um, until the mesh is not broken up at all so before we go into the physics though we need to assign parameters to each of these rotation deformers so we select the rotation deformers not the parts don't select any of the parts only the rotation deformers okay so once you have all the rotation deformers selected go to modeling skinning generate parameters for rotation deformer and name it whatever you want. So I'll name it L twin tail, I'll name it N twil, twin tail skin. Okay. And set the range of angle. 10 is fine. You could set it to whatever you want. I don't think that really matters too much. And now you have 
automatically created parameters that will move the hair however you want. And you can adjust them if you want to. So if you want, if you want this to move more, for instance, you can set it up to move more. If you want it to move less, you could do the same thing. So it's totally customizable. And now we are finally ready to go into the physics menu. So now just go to modeling, open physics slash scene blending. And what we're gonna do is we are going to add, and we're gonna name this L twin tail skin. Click okay. And for the input, I'm going to, let me move myself over again. <laughs> um, for the input, I'm going to have angle X and angle Z. I don't want the, since we already set up physics for the head Y parameter, I'm only gonna set the physics for the head X and head Z. So click okay. Make sure these, are, this, uh, these effects are at 100. And in output settings, we want to first click add. Well, okay, first add a pendulum and then click add and count the amount of twin tail skinning or count the amount of skinning parameters you have. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So we want five pendulums. And when you make the pendulums first and then add the skinning uh, physics, they're going to automatically be assigned to the different um, pendulums. So you don't have to do anything there either. And the last thing you have to do is adjust until you get the until you get them how you want. So what I always do when I set up physics, I'm not gonna go in too much detail for the physics, but what I usually do is I up the scale of everything and I kind of make it trickle down like this so that it moves more at the top and less at the bottom. And then here, you can see that as you move the head, as you move the head, you'll see that the pendulum is kind of going crazy. That's because all these durations are the same. They're all at 10. So the duration affects how long the pendulum is. So I usually go, I usually trickle down just like how I did um, with the scale. And you just adjust that until it looks okay Okay, see, like that's not, I don't think that looks great, but I will continue to adjust it until I get to a point that I like. And you can also, if you don't want the bottom to shake this much, you can adjust the shaking by changing this setting to a lower number. So it's at 0 0.95. If we do 0 0.85, for instance, and we'll do that for this one too, the bottom two pendulums won't shake as much anymore. Um, if you want them to shake a lot, you could do 1.0 and then they'll shake for a long time. So that's the basics of skinning. I hope this video was helpful for you and I hope that it addressed the issues from the last skinning video because I, I know a lot more about it now so I know how to actually do it properly. So thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like uh the video if you if you liked it <laughs> if it was helpful for you and as always you take care of yourselves and i hope you have a cozy evening filled with stars bye <laughs>